Hello and welcome to this week's report from the Port de Soleil. Since last weekend, Morzine and Avoria has been enjoying some absolutely perfect ski conditions with clear skies and beautiful snow. On piece, the snow creaks like a scared squirrel. It's absolutely beautiful, that compressed, fresh snow that runs really, really fast but gives you plenty of grip. And off piece, the snow has been absolutely phenomenal. At the weekend, my friend and I went up to the backside of Fournay and skied the Pepsi Max Couloir. And although there was a slight wind crust on it, the snow was absolutely beautiful and we were the first people in there. And today, four days later, some friends and I went out and we even managed to find some fresh snow now. There is still excellent off-piece conditions, as long as you stick to the north-facing shaded slopes where there hasn't been quite so much sun. Because as I say, this week we've had beautiful conditions with clear blue skies and very warm temperatures, which has meant that some of the south facing slopes are now a little bit melty freezy and have a bit of a crust on top of them. At the moment obviously we are in the midst of the busy holiday period but the queues haven't been that bad. I have seen a couple of instances where the queues have got massive and been beyond crazy but most of the time they seem to be pretty good. The Port de Sully is so big and the lift system is so good that most of the time these queues dissipate. If you're looking to avoid the big queues then it's definitely worth getting up and being on the very very first lifts. Most of the ski schools meet at 9am which means by 9.20 or 9.30 by the time they've organised themselves the queues do get Get pretty big especially in the bottleneck areas so if you're on that very first lift at 9 a.m you're straight up and on the hill without any bother and another good tip around about this busy holiday period is to ski through lunch we were in the Fournay over Saturday and Sunday and the queues were absolutely minuscule nobody in front of you of course if you do have to stop for lunch then I would recommend especially if you're in the Fournay area the crepery up on the hill there it's a beautiful sun trap and it is renowned for having the best van show on the mountain it's a quick snack sort of area rather than a big sit down lunch but they do excellent crepes so you can stop enjoy the sunshine enjoy the view have a quick snack and then get straight back on it and as I say the queues around the area were very very small this week now we've had a lot of snow over the last few weeks and although it has stopped this week the snow depths are still really really good at the very summits we've got 310 centimetres at 2,460 metres. In Avoria we've got 270 centimetres at 1,800 metres. And at the very bottom down here at the Pliny we've got 80 centimetres. The avalanche hazard rating is currently 2 out of 5. At the moment we only have two closures across the whole of Morzine and Avoria and they're two green pieces. Other than that everything else is open and the conditions are excellent. Now over the next few days it looks like we're forecast to get some more sunny weather. However these clouds that have moved in behind me were not on the forecast. We weren't expecting these until th uh, Friday or Saturday and they were meant to bring us a little bit of snow. So it looks like this weather front might be moving in a little bit earlier. So we'll have to wait and see but it looks like the weekend might be a little bit cloudy. But with more snowfall and at the moment obviously with it being the family tourist holiday week there is a lot of activities on for family and the bars are very quiet however you can still find live music and apres ski happy hours going on in most of the bars and just check our events page to find out where they are and when if you're looking for a live party then just down behind me at the Tremplan on a Wednesday afternoon is probably the best happy hour party. They've got live DJs and live music and the party goes on until 8 o'clock when everyone gets turfed out unfortunately to move on to various places but it's a perfect time to stop your apres ski and maybe go home for a little bit of food. Other than that though obviously for families there are lots of activities on and just check our events uh, calendar to find out more information about them but I'd personally recommend the torchlit descent and of course the night skiing. Excellent activities for both mums, dads and of course the kids. Other than that though the conditions at the moment are beautiful and if these clouds behind me do bring us some fresh new snow then we're looking at another great week here in Morzine and Avoria. Take care. <laughs>